today we come to just celebrate the life of Mother of Israel, Sister Rainey, Arnetta Triplin Rainey. We praise God for her life and her legacy. And today as we've come, I want you to know that uh, this is not how the story ends. Amen. 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 This is not how it ends. So we praise God for the opportunity of lifting up uh, both Robert and Olga and Waylon and the entire family today. We just want to praise God for his presence. We want to thank God for those who've come to celebrate uh, Sister Rainey's life. And uh, we do want to uh, uh, recognize all those that are in the house. Uh, we have, uh, uh, I call him the former honorable judge, now pastor, uh, Alan, uh, from the Shiloh Baptist Church of Care. We praise God for his presence. And all the clergy that's in the house, would you please stand in this time? Those who come, praise God for you. Thank you so much. We have my colleague that will be eulogizing his arm, uh, Elder Darrell Howard from South Atlanta Conference, and all of those that are here. We praise God. Uh, we're going to continue the service as outlined. Let's pray first, and everyone will be on point and on purpose to make sure that we move the program of God along. Father God, we just want to praise you and thank you for how good you are to us, Lord, as we celebrate uh, a great lady and her legacy. We ask in Jesus' name that you'll comfort and strengthen each and every one of our hearts. Help us, O oh God, in everything that we will give you praise, honor, and glory because you are worthy. Then, God, you thought we were worth it. We praise you and we thank you as we celebrate the life of Sister Arnetta Rainey in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen and amen. At this time, we'll have an elder
final life. So Lord, this is a celebration as Pastor Mitchell spoke to Lord, because we're celebrating a life who was triumphant in Christ. And we're praying now that the Holy Spirit will draw it near to each heart here and whoever's watching online, that we might follow a life worth, a life well worth living, that you will be pleased with our lives when you put us to rest. This is my prayer in Christ's name.
During the later years, she joined the Golden Age Organizational Club of East Market Street. She was known as the Queen for her fundraising abilities and her sense of style and etiquette. During the pastoral leadership of Elder Frank Hallis Sr. at East Market Street, both she and the late Dorothea Carter combined the church history of East Market Street for our church directory. Her interests, including listening to sermons and gospel music throughout the week, working on puzzles, and fellowshipping with clients and friends at pace of the triad. Sister Rainey loved her family dearly, and they were everything to her. She had a sense of humor that was like no other, and she was straight and to the point. Her smile and wit will truly be missed. Everyone knew that Sister Rainey loved the Lord her God with all of her heart and trusted in his promises to keep her over the many years. This same God has placed in you all an extra measure of strength and perseverance. Our sincere prayer is that the Lord will comfort you in the days and weeks ahead. Until that day comes when we are reunited with Jesus on the sea of glass, hold on to God's unchanging hand, for he will never leave you nor forsake you. Revelation 20, verse 6 reads, Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. Let us prepare now and look forward with anticipation to the soon coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In his service, from Elder Godwin R. Mitchell, Jr., officers and members of the East Market Street Seventh-day Adventist Church. As some people journey through this life, they leave footprints of kindness and love, courage and compassion, joy and faith. Even when they're gone, the trail they left behind continues to inspire us, praying that God will comfort and care for you while you honor the legacy that lives on. With sympathy, Jean Hall. Blessings and prayers. Sister Rainey, may you rest in the palm of his loving hands as you recover. This is from the Golden Age Society of the East Market Street Seventh-day Adventist Church. In remembrance of Arnetta Triplin, we, the staff of Pace of the Triad, extend our most sincere sympathy to the family and friends of Arnetta Triplin. Our hearts are heavy, and as we have been granted the privilege of providing medical care and support services to her since August of 2014, though no words can take away the pain that you feel at this time, may it be of comfort to you to know that we share in this loss with you. Arnetta was just not our patient, but she was our true friend. It is our hope that the good memories of the life you shared will help sustain you now and in the coming days. A life well lived. A life well lived is a precious gift of hope and strength and grace for someone who has made our world a brighter, better place. It's filled with moments sweet and sad, with smiles and sometimes tears, with friendships formed and good times shared and laughter through the years. A life well lived is a legacy of joy and pride and pleasure. A living, lasting memory our grateful hearts will treasure, Arthur Unknown. This is from Ursula Robinson, the President and CEO of PACE, and also Dr. Robert Kohler, the Medical Director of PACE of the Triad. Remembering you and your family, may love and memories help soften your sorrow and fill you with God's peace, thinking of you with caring prayers in your loss, with love, the class of 1952, Dudley B. High School, and friends from the first grade to now, 2023. God's blessing of comfort. May God bless you with love and his wisdom to share. May he give you peace just to know that he is here. <clears throat> Praying for you with love, the Evans and LeGrand families. Arnetta Triplin Rainey, a true friend. Arnetta Triplin Rainey is my friend, a true friend. We became friends at an early age and remained friends throughout the different stages of our lives. We played together, rode the bus, went to school together, 
and together we would go all over Greensboro to visit people and places, and we graduated together. As we grew into mature adults, we were there for each other during the happy times and the sad times. We laughed together, we cried together, and we prayed together. In difficult times, our shoulders were always available for each other to lean on. Arnetta and I were there for each other because a friend loveth at all times. God's love is the greatest gift you can have and share with a friend. There are no words that can truly describe the value of our friendship. However, some of the words from the Girl Scout song, Make New Friends, written by Sue Lynch, gives an idea of the meaning of our friendship. A circle is round, it has no end. That's how long I will be your friend. A fire burns bright, it warms the heart. We've been friends from the very start. You have one hand, I have the other. Put them together, we have each other. You help me and I'll help you. And together we'll see it through. Across the land, across the sea. Friends forever, we will always be. Humbly submitted with love from Bishop M. S. Nesbitt. With sympathy, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you, to the reigning family, praying that God's love will show you uh, through his caring friends and comforting memories and moments of peace. Praying he will give you whatever your heart needs right now with sympathy and love. Vera Weeks Mathis of Trinity Temple. May time heal your sorrow, may friends ease your pain, may peace replace your heartache, and may warm memories remain. With sympathy, our prayers are with your family. Your mom was a special woman. Love the Revels. In closing, the family of Arnetta Triplin Rainey wish to express our sincere appreciation for all of the love, the kindness, the expressions of sympathy shown during this time of bereavement. Your prayers and compassion have truly been a blessing. Please keep us in your prayers. Thank you. As we read the children silently, we are in anticipation of reflections, which will be kept in just two minutes.
she had, I call, a hatitude. <laughs> she had a thing about hats. And when she come in, she dressed in the nine. Right. Robert be wheeling her in, and other be making sure she looking good. Come on, say amen. Yeah. And, and, and uh, she just had a flair about herself. Just a wonderful spiritual giant. What a wonderful mother in Israel. And uh, just listening to the family as we've talked about mom, what a blessing. And I just want you to know that we feel your pain. As I share with you at your home that uh, we lost my mom um, this past uh, July. And, um, and uh, still going through the process. And though she was 94, and mom raised me 89, time sinks into its insignificance when it comes to losing our parents. But I want you to know God will heal. God will heal. Well, his dad in 2013 uh, by a medical mistake. Uh, but we've gone through the process. Uh, and uh, a lot of what you're going to go through is just going through. As I shared, the word through has rough in it. But God will allow us to make it through. Make it rough. You'll make it through. Be confident in this one thing, that he which has begun a good work will not only finish it in you. Remember that God will bless you real good. Keep encouraged. We love you guys. And anything that we could do for you, we're here to do that for you and your family. God bless you real good. Any other reflections at this time? Keep it to two minutes. Good afternoon, family. I just want to stand uh, briefly. Our hearts are very heavy, but we have received some additional messages to the family, by my family, and they asked me just to share these words of comfort. Uh, first, uh, when uh, one of your babysitters uh, Cynthia Rainey and Janetta, and of course you remember Aunt Martha, Uncle George, um, they want to share their condolences in a special way and also to the entire family. Um, and they are here to stand with us as a family. Also, we have, and I'm pulling them all up here, um, Technology is wonderful, amen. Um, all right, here it is. Also from our cousin Elizabeth Shelton, amen. She sends her condolences from Los Angeles, California, as well as uh, my brother Earl and my sister uh, Paletta. Uh, and they share prayer for Robert and the entire family as they celebrate the life and legacy of Aunt Annetta and um, as Earl, Andre, Alexis, and Nicholas. And then also from another cousin, Pastor Conklin Gentry. She served a number of years in Allegheny East Conference at, uh, in New Jersey, amen. The New Jersey group is in fact the amen, amen. And so Pastor Gentry, is a conference evangelist. And so he shares this, a loving, lovely woman who will be greatly missed by all that knew her. Uh, worked there in the Allegheny East Conference and also here is a testament to her love for God. As you honor Ananetta's memory today, we offer our thoughts and prayers as well wishes and that God will send his comfort in the days ahead. So again, we're praying together, family. Thank you.
my life my entire life, okay? Um, I'm gonna miss my grandmother. My grandmother, I like to call her the GOAT for what she came to be known as in the neighborhood we lived in, coach. Because when she say goes, and when she spoke, you listen. My grandmother was a very stern, let's say stern person. However, she was very loving to us. And one thing about my grandmother, she never not told us about God. She never not told us about not praying, the benefits of accepting Christ into your life, and just trusting God and loving every day. Even until her last days, she uttered out that she loved us and trust God. I'm gonna remember my grandmother, because that was my girl, if I could say that. My grandmother was my girl. So I hope that this song finds comfort for everyone in here, um, that this is not the end. <laughs> Y'all know this is not the end. She only sleeping for now. So with that, hopefully, if I live right, you guys live right, and get right with the Lord, we can all need to get on that sea of glass. So I'm gonna sing her favorite song, um, it is well with my soul. If you know it, I don't mind you singing along as well, okay? When peace like a
face of Jesus. But I got a question I want to ask. How is it that all my cousins can sing and I can sing? I, I just want to know, Lord. But we thank God for this family. And I want you to know I'm so proud to be a part of this family. On another last aunt, our parents' generation has fallen asleep in Jesus. But when a soldier lays down their sword, Shield. That's when the next generation steps up to the plate. Because when peace, like a river, attended my way, we have to understand that in order for it to be well, we have to have a deep relationship with Jesus Christ. So we're going to just take a few moments and just share because I love our aunt and I love her fashion and mercy. You would not know that Annette had a stroke about five, about five years ago. Nine years. Nine years, yeah. God bless her. She always Look sharp. She was a diva. No mistake about it. And she didn't like to hold her tongue either. I'm just going to tell the truth anyhow. She can't beat me up now. Come on, say amen. But she did it in love. And she loved her Jesus. Father, as we now just share a few more words, we ask the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us. We pray in Christ's name, amen. amen. You know, it pays to serve Jesus. It pays every day. It pays every step of the way. And though the pathway to glory may sometimes be drear, you will be happy each step of the way. Just want to share with you on the topic when matter really matters. When matter really matters. In our day, in our age today, uh, so much has been brought about on the point of dealing with Black Lives Matter, uh, police say they matter, other than uh, racists say they matter, but I would like for us to go to the Word of God because what matters is what God says. All right. And he says in Genesis, the first chapter, uh, in the beginning, God created. And in the Hebrew, it's in exilio, meaning that God made something out of nothing. All right. So in other words, God took what really mattered from something that did not exist to make it something very germane. And what I like about my God is that uh, unlike Billy Preston, and y'all don't know about him because you've been in the church all your life, when he sung that song, nothing from nothing leaves nothing. Uh, I wish I had a woman. Uh, I gotta have church all by myself, but you have to have something if you wanna be with me. And so when God stepped out and he said, let that be light, he communicated his divine will and light appeared. All right. And he did that with the birds, he did that with the fish and all of that. But then God put down his cell phone. Can I preach it like I want to? And he didn't want to take any chances with the, the call being dropped from God's creation up in glory to the earth down here. And he stepped out in time and he came down. Yes, he did. Yes, sir. And he scooped into the dirt and he pulled man out of the dust of the ground because he wanted to make sure uh -huh. that his greatest creation mattered. All right. That's why those who say they don't believe in God doesn't really understand what matters. Yes, sir. Creation matters. The Sabbath matters. Our faithfulness in marriage matters. Kindness 
then we need to start acting like it down here. Because it's a dress rehearsal. And what mattered for my aunt was that her relationship with Jesus was most important. Whenever we visited her home, we didn't hear her talking about how bad things were. But her reflection was on the goodness of God. And I'm just concerned today is that as a people, have we forgotten about the journey? And that we're not trying to establish life here on earth, but as the old folks used to say, I'm sending up some timber. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Because they understood it wasn't about what they had down here, but it's about where they're going up there. So let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house of many mansions. And just the other night, just having in my house, car, uh, my partner. This right here is what some of us like. Dr. Mitchell, help me out here. This right here is a, 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 a hotel car for your room. And I stayed at uh, Hilton Property. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I don't care about this car. Because this car is a temporary ownership of a room down here. All right. What I want to share with you is a metaphor. All right. It's the word of God that I hear in my heart. And I'm not concerned with what I got down here. I'm concerned with what I'm taking up your God. All right. All right. Do you want to go? Yes. I came across a poem. Said this, I knelt to pray, but not for long. I had too much to do. I had to hurry and get to work, for bills would soon be due. Right. So I knelt and said a hurried prayer and jumped up off my knees. My Christian duty was now done. My soul could rest at ease. All day long I had no time to spread a word of cheer. No time to speak of Christ to friends. They laughed at me, I fear. No time, no time, too much to do. That was my constant cry. No time to give to souls in need. But at last, the time, the time to die. I went before the Lord. I came, I stood with downcast eyes. For in his hand, God held the book. It was the book of life. God looked into his book and said, Your name I cannot find. I once was going to write it down, but I never found the time. What matters is our relationship with Jesus Christ. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6 through 10, Paul writes, For I am now ready to be off. And the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. And, and, and I wonder, do we still have that burning desire deep down in our heart that we have to overcome one day and we do it by praying and fasting and talking to Jesus? Because just a little talk with Jesus will make everything all right. I'm not bad. So as I visited with my aunt, I wanted to make sure everything was all right with her. And I asked her how she was doing and her spiritual connection. And she said, Darren, you don't, you don't have to worry. All right. You don't have to worry about me. Because I made my calling and election sure. And I know the word of God. That if you don't believe in her, just, just ask me my alphabets and I'll tell you. So I said, oh, man, what about the letter A? And she said, ask and it shall be given. All right. I said, B. She said, bless the Lord, oh my 
my soul. I said, what about C? She said, cast thy cares upon him, for he cares. I said, what about D? I delight thyself in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. E, every good and perfect gift comes from a father. F, pray not thyself for evildoers. I'm trying to church right now. G, God is good, and he's a good God all the time. I said, what about A? She said, you better honor your mother and your father. What about I? If my people which are called by my name. What about Chad? She said, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, the precious name of Jesus. What about Chad? He's the king of kings and the Lord of Lord. What about Leah? Let not your heart be troubled. What about Leah? Make a draw for them. I said, oh, you know them all. But I got one for you. What about X? She Paul. That church. Except the Lord build his house, they let me die. You gotta have a relationship with my Jesus. How many times we started stuff, and if we had looked to the end, we would have said, This is foolishness. Can I, can I, can I just, can I just be saying? Oh, <laughs> 
talking about it. <laughs> but when I get to heaven, I'm going to look for our family. Yeah. All right. I've already sent some plans up to Gabriel. If you told me you're going to make a mansion, then this is the space. I want you to lay some pipeline, Robert. And I want it to connect from the sea of glass and let that pipeline run into my living room. All right. This is my house in heaven. Uh -huh. And I'm going to have a sunken diamond floor <laughs> in my living room. Uh -huh. And in the middle of the living room, where you have a coffee table, but you drink post them, uh, just like that, I'm going to have a little fountain come up. So that every morning when I rise in my mansion in glory, I'll be to reflect, I'll see the reflection of the rainbow that comes from the sea of glass, and my mind will be pointed towards Jesus. All right. Because that's where I'm going. Yeah. And when I get there, I want to be able to sing in the heavenly choir. But I haven't had much practice down here. <laughs>
using each and every participant today. Thank the Lord for using Dr. Daryl Howard in a very special way, my colleague, praise God. We want to thank the Lord for how God continues to use each and every person. And we just want to, at this time, encourage the family. As we stand for our closing prayer, uh, we do want to remind each and every one of you uh, that not only is this not how the story ends, this is just a rest stop. You know how you get tired when you're taking a long trip? You pull over in a rest stop. It's not your final destination. It's just a rest stop. Let's stand as we have our closing for everyone but the family. Father, you've been good to us. You gifted us Sister Arnetta Triplin Brady, thank you so much for blessing us with her presence and her essence. Thank you for what she deposited in her children. Thank you for what she deposited in the lives of those whose shoulders she rubbed. She rubbed. God, I praise you for how you're going to keep this family in the days to come. Even in the lonely times and in down times, remind them that this is just a rest stop. Remind them of what really matters, God. That is a relationship with you. And at the end of the day, God, help them to be able to say, it is well with my soul. We praise you and we thank you for how you're going to bless and keep both Wayman, Robert, and Olga in the days to come and all the rest of the family members. Now, Lord, we pray that as we leave this place to say our temporary goodbyes, that our hearts will be fixed to know that we're focused on the fact that you're coming soon. And when you call, we want to be able to answer. We praise you, we thank you. And thank you for lending us to Thornetta Brady as a part of EMS. We praise you and we thank you. And God, we can't wait to see you come again. In Jesus' name, amen. We want to praise God for their services. They've been such a blessing. And I want to publicly let them know uh, that in the time I've been here thus far, you've done just excellent service uh, to the members of East Market Street. Thank you so much. Where I am. 